Hello YouTube, this is Allie from the Allie Carroll channel. This is a mail call from Michael Bruner. He sent me some chirp. It's, in this, it's, it's at least four or five pounds. He sent me a full bag. A full bag. I got some laid out right here to show y'all. And then we got our punk wood that we done with the with the um the pine punk wood that I charred. Um over y'all can see it. And y'all see all the rocks. If I still not got y'all in cream, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this right one day, I promise y'all. Look at how pretty that is. The flint that I've been telling y'all about that I bought off of Amazon was from England or somewhere it was supposed to look like this. And of course it didn't. And it didn't come with very sharp edges. So I took a hammer. I rolled it up in a towel and took a hammer to it. But I hadn't retried it. it got, I got angry with it. And I had to do something. But this is absolutely gorgeous flint, Michael. I greatly appreciate it. And we're going to try it out and see if we can get this charred punk wood to light. And look. Look how easy. No hardly no no effort at all to get sparks. So we're gonna try lighting this up a piece of punk wood. Let's see what we can do. Can y'all see that? Let me raise it up just a smidge. Let's see what else we got? Oh, we got more than one piece. We got more than one. That makes a world of difference. So much better than that other stuff. We're going to light one off one. How about that? Let's see what we can do. We finally got it done. Ha <laughs> ha! Get one. Ooh, I'm gonna snuff it back out. But that shows you just how much good flint or chert, whichever way they like to call it, rocks. <laughs> but that right there is awesome. That makes a big difference, and I can tell just by striking it. I'm not having to put nowhere amount of effort that I it was with that other. But like I say, I'll retry the other one. I took a hammer, I rolled it up, and a couple of those shop towels, put it on the asphalt because I don't have no big rocks or rocks to put it on and beat it with another rock. So the only thing I could think of was roll it up, put it on the asphalt, and take a hammer to it. So. I called it a sledgehammer because I was hitting it like I was using a sledgehammer. I got mad with it. But anyway, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Michael Bruner. I'll leave his link in my description. And Michael, thank you again for your generosity. I greatly appreciate it. And that goes to show just that alone by itself makes a world of difference with the better edges. But uh, I, I do want to thank you. And everybody stay kind, humble, and kind. And I will catch you on my next one. Y'all have a great weekend. Like, share, and subscribe. Love y'all.